Mastering the SVA pattern, spot and correct errors. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another fascinating lesson where we'll demystify the intricacies of English grammar. Today, we're focusing on the subject verb adverbial, SVA, pattern. We'll delve into common errors that occur in this pattern and show you how to correct them. So grab your notebooks and get ready to improve your English language skills. The SVA pattern is a common sentence structure in English. It consists of a subject, a verb, and an adverbial. The subject is the who or what the sentence is about. The verb expresses an action or state of the subject. The adverbial provides additional information about the action, like how, where, when, or why the action took place. For example, consider the sentence, John, subject, runs, verb, quickly, adverbial. Errors in the SVA pattern can disrupt the clarity and accuracy of your sentences. The most common errors include incorrect subject-verb agreement, inappropriate adverbial placement, or missing components. Let's take a look at this incorrect sentence. They, subject, goes, verb, to school, adverbial. The error here is the lack of subject-verb agreement. The correct form should be, they go to school. Now that we know what the errors look like, let's practice correcting them. For subject-verb agreement errors, ensure that the verb agrees with the subject in number and person. If the subject is singular, the verb should also be singular, and vice versa. An example of correction could be, the cat, subject, like, verb, fish, adverbial, should be corrected to, the cat likes fish. For adverbial placement errors, ensure that the adverbial is correctly placed to avoid confusion. Generally, adverbials should go at the end of the sentence, but they can sometimes go at the beginning or middle for emphasis or style. For instance, I yesterday went to the park, should be corrected to, I went to the park yesterday. To truly master the SVA pattern, practice is key. Start by creating your own sentences using the SVA pattern, and then deliberately introduce errors. Try to spot and correct these errors. You could also find sentences in books or online and look for any SVA pattern errors to correct. That's it for today's lesson on correcting SVA pattern errors, folks. Keep practicing and remember to pay close attention to the subject-verb agreement and the placement of your adverbials. We hope this lesson has been insightful and beneficial. Until next time, happy learning!